Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Roshan and in this video, you will see a Python program to convert a decimal number to hexadecimal value. This video is part of the conversion program series which we are doing for a few days. In my previous videos, we have seen how to convert decimal numbers to binary where we calculated the remainder with custom logic. The same approach we will be doing here as well. There are many ways we can do this program. You can write your logic or use an inbuilt function or use recursion or many other ways. Like the earlier tutorial, I will keep the most straightforward logic so you can easily understand line by line. And later at the end, I will also show you using a built-in function. This tutorial will have two sections. First, we'll understand the logic in detail with mathematical representation and implement the code in the second section. You can directly watch the code section if you want to skip the detailed logic explanation. I always recommend understanding the logic to improve your problem solving skill and later use any built-in function. You can also write the same code in many different ways. You can comment on your version of the code in the comment section. So the first question is, what is a hexadecimal number and how it is calculated? Let us understand the process first, then we can implement using code. In mathematics, we have different representation of numbers, like the decimal number system, hexadecimal number system, etc. In decimal, we have a base of 10 that consists of 0 to 9. On the other hand, the hexadecimal number system has a base of 16. That means it will have a total of 16 symbols or values. These symbols or values are from 0 to 9 and A to F. Most simply, follow this table. We have 0 to 9 and A to F for 10 to 15. So, if I have a number 5, then its hexa value is 5. For 10, it will be represented by A. For 13, it will be D and F for 15. Let's take an example. Let's say you have the number 680. So, I can write 680 here. Then how to convert this number into hexa value? Let me show you. The first thing we need to do is divide the number by 16 to calculate the remainder. Why 16? Because hexadecimal is base of 16. So let me divide it. Let me write it here. We have 680. We'll divide with 16. So it will give remainder as 8. And we'll get 42 as a quotient. We need to repeat this process till the quotient reaches 0. So let me divide it again. So I can write 16 here. It will give remainder as 10 and 2 as a quotient. So let me divide one more time. So it will be 16, remainder will be 2 and the quotient will be 0. Now we have got all the remainders. To get the correct order, we need to reverse it. So it will look like this. So let me write 2, 10, 8. To get the exact hexa value, we need to refer table and find its corresponding value. So for 2, we have 2 in a table. For 10, we have A. For 8, we have 8. So we can write 2, A, 8. This is our hexa value. Now let's move to code. The very first thing we need is input from the user. So to get the input, we can use the Python input method. So I can write input. I can specify some message. Enter any integer value. For simplicity, I will take a positive integer value in this tutorial. The negative numbers have a slightly different logic that I may cover in a separate video in the future. By default, the input method value will be string. So we need to convert this input to an integer type. So I can write in here. Let's save this input. So I can write decimal value equals to input operation. Now we have got the input. So our first step is completed. Next, let us write one function which will take one parameter and return us with the hexadecimal output. You can write logic without a function as well, but it is a good practice to create a function 
that does one task and return us with the output. So whenever we need output, we can simply call that function again and get the result. To create a function, I can write def decimal to hexa and it will take one parameter. So I can write num here. Now we have our function. But the most important thing is to implement the logic which we have seen before. Let's write that as well. So the first step is to calculate the remainder. To calculate the remainder of any given number, we'll use the modulus operation. So I can write num modulus 16. This will calculate the remainder. Now the remainder is calculated, but we need to save that value in some variable. So I can write remainder here. Let me correct the variable name here. So I can write it will be remainder. To convert any decimal number into a hexadecimal, we need to divide the given number by 16 until the num reaches 0 and store the remainder somewhere. Next, we saw a table in the example where each remainder mapped to some hexa value. For example, 8 was mapped to 8, 10 was mapped to A and so on. To implement a same approach, let us create a table mapping in Python. There are other ways as well, but I will create a table mapping here so you can easily relate to the explanation which we have seen before. To have such mapping, we can use a Python dictionary where each key will be our value from 0 to 15 and hexa value will be stored as dictionary value. To create a dictionary, I can write conversion mapping or conversion table equals to two curly braces. If you are unaware of dictionary in Python, it is a data structure to store key value pair data. I will put the link in the description to explore more about it. Let me add the key pair value. So now you can see each decimal key is from 0 to 15 with hexa value. So 0 is mapped to 0, 10 is mapped to A, 15 is mapped to F. This is the same as what we have seen in the example. Let me keep this code below. So I can copy this. Now we got the remainder and the next step is to get the corresponding value from the dictionary. For that we need to read the dictionary value by passing its key. So I can write conversion table and we'll pass key. So it will be remainder here. This will give us the hex value associated with that key. We need to perform this for each remainder and output to be saved somewhere. And the final output needs to be reversed to get the correct result. To get the final hexa output, we need to save the output somewhere so we can reverse it. One way is to have a list and append each hexa value to that list and print that list in a reverse order. Another way is to have a string and append each hexa value as a character string and print that string in a reverse order. To keep it simple, I will go via the string approach. I have explained both approaches in my decimal to binary video. If you want to know, click on the top right corner. So let's declare one string. So I can write here hexa value and we'll set it to empty. Coming back to remainders, we'll append a hexa value output in the string. So I can write hexa value equals to hexa value plus our dictionary. If you don't want reverse approach, you can rewrite this sentence as conversion plus hexa value. This line appends the hex value at the beginning, so you can simply return the output without doing reverse. I will do with the reverse approach. Now that we have saved the first hexa value, we need to divide the number by 16 to get the next quotient value. So I can write num equals to num 2 forward slash 16. This will give us the quotient. This entire process needs to be done for each value. For that we need a loop. Here I will be using a while loop so I can write while num greater than 0 
we need to run these steps until the num reaches 0. So our while condition is set. Let me move this code into that. Also move this line above. This loop will continue till our num reaches 0. At the end of the loop, we'll have a hexadecimal stored in a string. As a last step, we need to reverse the string to print the correct output as we have seen in our example. To do that, we just use the python slice technique. So I can write hexa value and it will be colon colon minus 1. And finally, we'll return the output from the function. So I can write return. Now our function is ready. You can further optimize or shorten the code by changing some logic here and there. Lastly, we need to call this function with a parameter. So I can write decimal to hexa will pass decimal value. This function will return us with the output. So I can write output equals to. And let's print the output. So I can write print hexa value and it will be output here. Let me save and run. It is asking for user input, so I can type 680. Hit enter. So our output is correct. Let's try with another example. Let's say I have 1973 and hit enter. 7B5 is the correct output. Now we understood how to convert decimals to hexa value. We also talked about some built-in methods. In Python, we have a few. First is to use the hex method, which converts the integer number into hexadecimal. Before that, let me comment this code. And I can write output equals to hex method and will pass decimal value. The hex method returns the hexadecimal representation of integer. It will give a type error for non-integer values. Output from the hex will have two additional characters at the beginning as prefix, which represent that the result is a hexa value. To have the correct output, we can slice and remove the first two characters and print the data. So I can write an output and will slice to colon. Let me save this and run. We'll use the same example 680. The output is correct. You can also use the format method with option X to convert the integer to hexa value. That's it from this video. If you enjoy this video, please like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you next time.